and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aurelia Z. So you may look at this deck and may realize that it's pretty close to Aurelia Azir, but we're kind of switching it up and doing some crazy combo stuff instead. So basically some differences. We're not playing Emperor's Dias or Azir. So you may think, well, then we're, you're going to be a worse version of the deck. And yeah, maybe we are, <laughs> but we're going to do some, some other stuff that we want. Um, so instead, we're going to be playing uh, more copies of Retreat. Okay, so a couple of things. First, we got more copies of Retreat in here, three copies to go along with three Dancing Droplets, because one thing that we want to do is when we have the attack token on round two, we want to be able to play Droplet on one, Recall Droplet, and then Drop Zed on round two. And we want to be able to have, you know, put Burst Speed Zed attack on, on round two. So like that's that's a, that's the hope with part of our deck. All right, another thing that we have is we are playing Coastal Defender in here. Three copies of Coastal Defender. When you summon an ally, give me plus two, plus zero this round. So the hope is that, you know, like we can get a lot of summons in each round, in like in a round, and we can make Coastal Defender super big because it gets plus two, plus zero for each one of those summons. We also even have like Green Glade Duo and Sparring Students that kind of do the same thing. We only get plus one for summons. But think of how many times you've seen Sparring Student be like six power. It gets, you know, plus five. Like, that's pretty easy. And so if we have Coastal F Defender getting plus five, <laughs> you know, that's going up, that doubles, so that's plus ten. So, you know, now we have a 12 power Coastal Defender. So we're trying to get a huge Coastal Defender, which, of course, they will block. But we're playing two copies of Syncopation to go along with Coastal Defender. So we're going to be trying to have the Coastal Defender then switch it to something they didn't block, Syncopation, and kill them um, out of surprise. We have that combo going on. And then um, instead of Emperor's Dies, we're actually playing Sandswept Tomb because the person, you know, this is a viewer submitted donation deck. The person that donated for it wanted just wanted to see how Tomb would do instead of the um, instead of making one ones to make five twos. And so we're going to be making five twos for each blade dance. So that should be pretty cool. But of course, that that costs five mana. So there's some differences with our deck with then like the normal a really Azir list. Uh, we're gonna try out some some cool stuff like that. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and, and try this out. We'll go go play five games in ranked. Ah, sorry, my throat today. Okay, so we are playing against normal Aurelia Azir. I mean, syncopation I guess is needed for Coastal Defender, but I also I need cheap units. All right, we'll keep you. Uh, it's a possibility the Marshall gets nerfed. Yeah, that, that's a possibility. <laughs> Gooba says, let's pretend that Azir and Dyes, uh, the Emperor's Dyes got nerfed. That's why we're playing this deck. <laughs> See, there we go. That's why we're not playing those cards. We're pretending like they're nerfed. I can learn from watching you. Always forward. Aurelia is kind of a weird champion. It's 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 incredibly powerful in this Aurelia Azir deck, but like finding a way to play Aurelia without Azir is not easy, honestly. Attack with twelve units is really difficult if you're not using Sand Soldiers. All right, so they got a little bit of a slower hand to set up, but they got a really strong setup going. Show them no weakness. Do not see what is, see what will be. Um, what do you think about Shadows of the Past? I'm not familiar. What's that card? Shadows of the Past. Five mana, fa fast spell. Recall each ally and summon a living shadow in its place. I honestly don't know if there really is any usage for that card. Yeah, I, I don't. I just don't know of any usage for that card. I really don't. I'm kind of doing this to make it 5 out of 12 for Aurelia. Awesome, they didn't they didn't block. I was kind of thinking they would block with his ear. My name 
goes through every rock, every canyon. Generations tend to. Alright, so our hope is to kill them next round. We must retreat for now. But I promise we'll hope they don't have homecoming. What do you call that technique? Yeah, really hope it really hoping they don't have homecoming. Can't really have it, so I just die to the plus three, plus one card. We got plenty of blockers. So they block everything, I can't win. Or if they have homecoming, I don't win. They're acting like they have homecoming because they haven't, you know, played anything. So it's, they're acting like homecoming. I would, I would like this just to be homecoming right here. Just pre preemptive homecoming. Focus, focus. Now nah, they blocked everything. Fortunately, they blocked everything. But, like, that's a pretty poor trade here. It's not over, over. They await our signal. Yeah, I could syncopate the droplet for card draw, but then I don't have syncopation left. But let's see. If I do that next round, yeah, maybe it's worth doing that, actually. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. I was planning, okay, so if I didn't do that, I was thinking maybe like play Zed and then like Aurelia's edge, this this Vanguard's edge, the Zed next round. So now I'll just have to Vanguard's edge the Coastal Defender next round. I guess I could do the Aurelia, but I think this is definitely the play, is play this card. Be the sparring student. Let's see. Blade Dance 3. So the sparring student will be a 4 4. Do you want a 4 3 quick attack, a 4 4, or like a huge X3? So an 8 3. I'm going to do that one. So Aurelia seems the best. I just, I just, Aurelia gives them an easy block with Azir. Kind of both of these four power things. Like, they could just block with Azir. For the autumn orchard. Which is why I'm going with the A3. They haven't shown the will to block with the Azir yet, but they may at this point. Like, they don't want to trade like those things away. I don't know exactly what their hand looks like that's good for me. Like, maybe just like a bunch of recall cards. To the streets! Show them the might of I have respect the people in Sharima. Raise a 
things await. Man, I have to block with Aurelia. Take your place. Focus. Focus. Turn back, trespasser. Rose. They shouldn't block, because if they, if they block, then I'm able to use the Aurelia. You and what army? Okay, I guess they are going to block. Very unlikely we win this. Me. But we we're gonna try. We have to block with both. What like what are what are those cards in hand that like we win? Like I don't know, like what what are they not playing right now? They gotta just be like recall cards, right? Like you dare. Nopifies? Oh, they could be Nopifies. I guess they could be. Yeah, that could be it. Okay, Nopify gives me hope. Maybe they're just chilling with Nopifies. <laughs> we'll just slide to the right. Slide to the right. Sharima, your emperor has returned. Where, where? With the ears, arise. The order is given. Well, we almost got him. They, you know, ended up block. You know, like that one round, they ended up blocking everything. Didn't die to syncopate. Okay, well we're facing the same matchup again. See, I think all Aurelia Azir players just play Aurelia Azir mirrors all the time. And that's why the win rate's around 50%. Because I think that just the pairing... The pairing system they have, they just make you play a lot of mirrors. You're playing this deck. That's my guess. Yeah, I probably should have mulliganed the Coastal Defender looking for one of the two champions. The I probably should have. I probably should have mulliganed this looking for a champion. See what we see. So well, we're going to attack for a lot. Assuming they block a 2-1. They take 11. No blocks, 13. Turn two, attack for 13. <laughs> this, this is pretty fair. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. I don't see anything not fair about that. How'd you do that? Greater things await. Destiny calls. 
Yeah, Doomkeeper at like 1-1 one, one or... 1-1 one, one or 1-2, one, I think makes sense. Like, it's... It's ridiculous for a one drop. Give me grace enough to mask my doubts. Sedition. The Yordle here is with me. So they can block three things, but then the other three should be lethal. So just turn four GG. Yeah, turn four GG. Sparring student plus Doom Keeper. Not exactly fair. Draven Ezreal. All right, they got lots of removal. Let's see what we got. I like these cards. The Green Glade Duo is just really easy to kill, but it's a great card. But it is easy to kill. That's a great card. If they do kill it, it's most, you know, Static Shock's the worst, but it's most likely like a Mystic Shot, so it just trades on mana. Sand Swept Tomb. The Emperor commands, the land obeys. Witness perfection, meatbags. See what we see, soldier. Always forward. Good card there for my opponent being able to uh, uh, trade with a card. I'm gonna play Green Glade Duo out here. If they kill Green Glade Duo, they kill it. I'm not gonna save it with Retreat. I want this round. Now I have six mana for Zed plus Retreat Return. Sandswept Tomb could be pretty big here. You know, attacking with five twos is no joke. Very good hand for them. It's a good hand for a good deck. Show them no weakness.
I don't know if the skins are a limited time thing. I don't know, but um, most things they sell, I think, are limited time. I I, I really don't know though, because I usually, I mean, I usually just kind of get everything right away, so I I don't know. Okay, other people in chat are saying no, they are not for a limited time, or at least they don't think they are for a limited time. Like Sparrow says, I think they're going to be like in League where they stick around forever and accumulate for every champ. Azir welcomes all his subjects. The reason not to play Dancing Droplet is because so now I can play like Dancing Droplet this round and it gets the plus two plus zero. But now I got really punished. Now I can't play Dancing Droplet because <laughs> I, I want to play Marshall Aurelia, of course. So it really is a 7-2 right now. No. That's too bad. It's about to level up to be an 8-3. <laughs> Speaking of leveling up, though, I think they're they're kind of dead, though, right? Why would they have the 8-8 block the 9-2? What's my opponent doing? I guess they just... They just gave up, I guess. They're still pretty dead anyway. It doesn't it doesn't really matter how they block, I guess they're they're dead, right? Well No, maybe Yeah. Yeah, they were dead. Okay. I was so confused. Okay, so we switched over to Dark Star Zed, forgot about it for the other the other games. <laughs> so we had to had to switch on over. Didn't think about it. Okay, we're gonna mulligan the four mana cards. I don't know, the Blossoming Blade with Aurelia is amazing, but I, okay, so I have the attack tokens round one, three, five. I don't know, I'll send the Blossoming Blade back. The Emperor commands so the if I curve out, one, two, three, I won't be able to play the Flawless Duet. So this attack's kind of bad because it gives them a slay, but it also, it adds one attack to my Aurelia, for my Aurelia level up. So I don't know, maybe I should do that, maybe I shouldn't. I'm still gonna lead with Aurelia. I must become the leader they need. No, we don't get to flawless duet. But that quick attack is a great attacker. Okay, so you think that was not worth giving them a slay for going towards Aurelia level up? We love it when they run. Never see us coming. Yeah, it's true if I just don't you know, like it's it's hard not to play Dune Keeper on round one whenever you have the attack token. But if I don't play the Dune Keeper on round one, then I would have had the flawless duet. Of course, would have been able to give them like a slay. These cards are pretty awesome against Blade Dance. I do feel like this is a, a tough... I've, I've really struggled with any Aurelia deck against Thresh Nasus. This looks like a really tough matchup. Sand and blood. All life must end. This is Turn back, Trespasser! You. 
with me. I am everything, by the way. Don't like my chances here. Okay. I was gonna say, if that's, you know, if they have like a vile piece to kill Green Glade Deal, we're definitely dead. But just having only like two one units is not gonna win this matchup. Alright, well they got a new hand. Shoulder set, blade sharpened, plant that lead foot. Don't worry. I've danced this a hundred times. Breathe your last. The Emperor commands, the land obeys. Well, because I did that attack the first round, now I have. Uh, now I have Aurelia level up. I have exact exact 12 to level up Aurelia. Yeah, those are yeah, that's kind of an odd turn for them, just the proactive glimpse. We don't know what their hand was, like maybe it was just a bunch of Nasus and maybe like because they just drew four new cards off those glimpses. Maybe like they only had like glimpse and then like Nasus and uh, atrocity and stuff like that. But still, you think you would just block with the O1s and then... I guess they wanted the, they really wanted the slays, though. They wanted to be killing those 1-1s. One that was a great draw. Really great draw. That was one of the best draws in our deck. Arda's gonna make a meal of them! I wish I could give you silk, but I must give you steel. Stay by my side. I cannot ask for more. Yeah, that, that last turn was just so good for us. They basically played nothing on the board. There we go. GG's. Invaders leave this place and never return. Alright, we'll see if Dark Star Zed can carry again. Against Deep. Alright, we're just gonna mulligan the hand. Look for cards that cost three or less, specifically Zed. Wow, that's not a good hand. That is not a good hand. But you never know. Maybe we find a Zed. We can do some work. Oh, cool. I can throw the comments down also. On this board, you can... I didn't know that. That's different. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. Very good at two drop for the opponent. All right, they got they got rid of a bunch of toss cards, which is what we want to see. We want them to toss more toss cards. We want them to have less toss cards. Spears ready. Zed! Darkstar Zed, let's go! Pledge yourself to the shadows. Noxian tyranny has already forged our bond. So this allows me to keep Retreat Return available.
And I'd rather just have Zed in play than attack with two one ones. Especially they're gonna be playing stuff like the box. Alright, we got our coastal defender syncopation combo. But I'm gonna play the sand swept tomb. Alright, Dark Star Zed carry. Yeah, Zed has a new level up animation. I haven't seen it. Whatever it is, I haven't seen him. Unfortunately, my Zed's at zero out of two. Whoa, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of damage. How close to deep are they? Not that close. They don't want my Zed to level up. They're being pretty mean about that. Hurry, they await our signal. Right. I have the backup Zed, I'll just play a new Zed. So many sea scarabs. Um, you're at 11 out of 12. I kind of want to have syncopation. Like, I kind of want to go ribbon dancer and syncopation next round. No, I guess I'll just do it now. Why not swap back again? Because I think the syncopation could be more valuable than the second copy of Zed, because the Zed in my hand isn't really that valuable with it being just Living Shadow. But the Syncopation can uh, help, you know, kill my opponent. So basically, I'd... instead of having Zed in play and Zed in hand, I'd rather have Syncopation, I'd rather have, you know, Zed in hand, Syncopation in hand. We get that other 5-2 attack this round. Like, if I do the Syncopation, then I don't get to do the 5-2 attack this round. I think Shadow Shift needs a buff. I can see that. I can see Shadow Shift getting a buff. I don't really know. How Shadow Shift could be like a two mana card instead of a three mana card. It really could be. Like that that could be how Shadow Shift could get a buff. Because I really or sorry, Ionia, not a really Ionia does kind of struggle with the two mana interaction and everything still, so. I think Shadow Shift is worthy of a two mana card. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Noxian tyranny has already forged our bond. Pull them under. Okay, so it's pretty safe to say that they have jettison. So I'm I'm dead to atrocity, I guess, like because I'm at twelve anyway, so I'm just dead to atrocity, like jettison plus atrocity. Oh, I guess this this would only be four away anyway, so I guess we get we have a free block there. They toss one. I'm not gonna have a really. I have one health in case their plan is like uh, withering whales and stuff like that. But if they if they have specifically jettison plus atrocity out of those three cards, we lose. If not, we win. There's not really anything else that saves my opponent. Considering our syncopation and everything. Your courage runs deep as the willow's roots. So they have one one card that they win if they have it. If they don't have it, we win. We'll just have to see. Them playing the Nautilus like this, you kind of expect them to have it. 
So are we going to be 4-1 and one or 3-2? and two? I do have Homecoming. Okay, never mind. Alright, they just got blockers. That's good. So that probably means we win. Probably. Unless that was just atrocity right there. Um, okay, so if I open attack... No, I guess it's only a 6-6, six, six, but they can only block three things. So there's not really that much reason to open attack. Besides... No. Because even, like, Ruination... Yeah, because Ruination, they're dead. It's not really any reason to open attack. But I promise we'll return. I guess that, that thing's a card. Right. The we got this. So we're going to be four and one. Obviously, we're playing Dark Star Zed. Dark Star Zed carry. They really should have tried to get rid of Aurelia. Aurelia was the card that mattered. Zed was not the card that mattered. But. They're not actually dead here until I until I do my Aurelia tricks. Right, like they can make blocks and go to one, and then I do my Aurelia tricks, and then they lose. All right, so we ended up going four and one with Aurelia Zed. Honestly, I was very impressed with this. You know, like we know that Aurelia Azir is really, really good, um, but we got to do a bunch of really cool things also. I liked having Zed. Like Zed's a great attacker. I think Zed's always an underrated card. Um, so maybe if like Azir was nerfed in the future, we go in Zed, but Zed with Retreat Return, always a pleasure. Didn't get to do the Droplet Retreat Zed combo. Didn't have that. Um, but yeah, like when we got to do some stuff with Coastal Defender, kind of have to give it up for Sandswept Tomb though. Sandswept Tomb, you know, playing this instead of the two mana landmark. This landmark honestly did a lot, and this landmark was kind of why we defeated the Draven Ezreal deck. Like a five two is like especially when you're this aggressive of a deck, getting a five two every attack was awesome. Yeah, got to give it up to Sandswept Tomb. That card did some work for sure. Um, you know, I could see going like two coastal defenders instead of three, but like maybe, maybe that's another way to put another marshal or tomb in, in here instead of a defender or like a homecoming, a second homecoming instead of the third defender or something like that, maybe. But, um, yeah, I didn't really have lead and fall too much. I don't know. This is, yeah, this definitely felt good. I liked it. I liked having, you know, it kind of just shows the, the strength of this archetype, but I think that Zed Sandswept Tomb, those two really did perform well. Um, so if you... If you want to play Aurelia and not play Azir, maybe give this version a try. I'm not I'm not saying that this deck is better than Aurelia Azir, but I'm saying it's another version that, as you see here, you can still you still get good wins with. We went 4-1 and ranked with it. Um, it has a lot of power to it. There's a lot of powerful stuff here, so give it a try. We even defeated Thresh Nasus, which is a deck that I don't know if I've really ever defeated with Aurelia before. We actually defeated that deck. So that's cool, too. Um, so, yeah. So, keep trying to figure it out. Uh, you know, Syncopation did did a lot of good work for us. Um, there was multiple times where Syncopation was awesome. So, yeah, it, it really helped out, especially with the with the attacking, with, like, the quick attack with the Aurelia and the Zed. Because, you know, like, you attack with Aurelia Zed, they have, like, their 4-4 four, four, block your Zed. And then you're like, well, actually, <laughs> switch spots. Now your 4-4 four, is blocking my 5-2 sand. Sandstone Charger, and my Zed's killing something else with the Quick Attack. All right, that's going to be it here for Aurelia Zed, though. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Um, let me know. But that's all I got here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.